if you're looking to build a laser, these are things that we possibly would need or might want. All right, so first, it's V rail, V rail, it's a whole bunch of 20 by 20 and then 20 by 40. You can even get 40 by 80 C rails and all that good stuff. I sourced that from Open Builds. Really good people, really good product. And very good customer service, everything outstanding. If you want something like next week, these are the guys to hit up. If not, you can order from China, pay big shipping, but it's a lot cheaper. Um, power supplies, power to drivers, and the Ruta. Um, this is the Ruta RDC6445G. Uh, I learned about this and a lot of this from Farther Fabrications on YouTube. He also has a website. And if you want the files for these 3D prints, you have to go talk to him. Go to FarthersFabrications.com. And there's a link there. You can buy these files to 3D print your own. These are all come in handy. This one I actually got from Thingiverse. So it's another place you can go look for free 3D files. 3D print files is uh, Thingiverse. Pretty cool little website. It has a whole bunch of free things there to build. Don't forget to donate or tip to the builders. Um, little compressor for the air. Gotta have the air through the nozzle. Through the head. A little fan for the cooling. Tape just to help. Uh, these stepper motor drivers are the DM542. I bought these from Cloud Ray. All these wheels assemblies. You cannot get them from open builds, but I had actually ordered mine from AliExpress and I probably paid like um, $5 for like $10, like all these versus over there, they're like $10 a piece, but you'll get them this week if you want them. This I had to wait almost two months for. This right here, I've been working on all this since Christmas and, uh, and I'm finally, finally getting it together. So, uh... I'm gonna go through all these, all these plates I bought from AliExpress, like a, like, eighty cents a piece and dollar a piece, something like that. I mean, they're all, they got them all. They got everything you want. NEMA 23 ones. They got the NEMA 17 plates. Same ones, same ones as Open Build, just a little bit cheaper, but you're gonna be waiting a month and a half for them. So if you plan on doing a laser build, you might want to plan way ahead because. Like I said, I'm still waiting for packages. And plus, on top of this pandemic that's going on right now, not much is getting sent out. Organize all my screws. Try to separate them out. Measure them and make sure and counted them all and put the label them all together and kind of separated them all out. These are all my M5s. These are all my M6s. These are all my M3s. Um, I mean, there's a lot here. I'm going to make a part. Like, I'm not going to make a part list, but, like, you'll just, you can just go through the video and write down everything you need. These are some bearing blocks. I mean, uh, in your bearings, but, like, uh, slightly might be used. I'm not 100% sure. When you're looking at your control systems, you can either go with this Arduino setup, which is really handy with all this, and this might be your go. Or you can go with this Ruta, which is like 350 versus this $15 item for 350 you know. So you just got to look at it. And Amazon, you can buy this for like 400 but I bought it from AliExpress and paid for the fast shipping. And it was still cheaper than Amazon. And um, so that takes a lot of a lot of studying, a lot of programming and all your good stuff. I mean, which is pretty much just copy and paste, but you got to get the programs and, and program that Adreno card. Yourself. This is the Adreno card. It actually comes separate. This is the keys. Adreno Uno. I'm not really sure how they say it. Like I said, I'm not an expert on this at all. I remodel houses. I build houses. I don't do electrical a lot. But I'm very smart on computers, so it's all going to come as it goes. Some bushing blocks, some skin, AliExpress, ordered it. Z made in China, blah blah blah. You know. Let's 
Dead Promoters. I think I bought these off of Amazon for like four of them for like thirty dollars. It was a pretty good deal. But I got a whole bunch more, a whole bunch of other motors I'm probably gonna use. And a water pump for your laser tube. Tape measure just to get things done. Metal. You're gonna need a laptop, preferably your own because you know. Um, these are just the tools that I'm using. You don't have to get these same ones. You could probably get it done with, without some of them, but you know, as I got the digital caliper, got the soldering iron, I got some wire clippers, got some little hand tools, water when you get thirsty. I just I don't know why it's here. I just was doing this stuff. Um, these are gonna be the hinges for the door to my cell too laser when I build the outer shell and just some drills I would get some first some good angle tools you know something that's reliable um a piece to do on my on my electrical panel right now just for temporarily uh some clamps to kind of hold the stuff together whenever you're cutting it and all that good whatnot uh good little screwdriver set uh I bought some of these they're pretty really good these are the 10 by 20, 10 by 20. I got three of them, three meters of it. This all came with the Ruta. When you buy that Ruta from China, that comes with it. All oh, these little fittings and connectors. These go to the hinges. This is my CO2 laser head. Came pretty scratched up from Cloud Ray. Uh, that's where I bought most of my laser stuff, it was from Cloud Ray. And this would be the only item that really came scratched up my whole laser head and it I would kind of like say somebody used it before but who knows so number 23 motor I got it from I got this one from Amazon I think I paid $37 for it I'm a, from a stepper line company I think I haven't tested it we'll see how that goes um these are the mirrors I'm using from cloud ray like I said from cloud ray uh, tap and die set Amazon 15 bucks. I want to say There goes the little Man that thing came like in a day. It was crazy um, What else uh, Preferably I would get the T handles Allen keys because you're about to twist together probably like 600 little things Like 600 screws. So um, the T handles gonna make it a lot more faster Anyways, you gotta have a chop saw, chop wire here, aluminum for sure. Yes, uh. And if I think of anything else or if I missed anything else, I'll definitely put it in the link. You know, I'll just like, like put it in the description. I'm gonna put like the list of things that you would need to build a laser, but I'm not gonna like put all the links and stuff. And like I said, um, I got a lot of my motive from fartherfabrications.com, Farther Fabrication channel. And he's done a really good, really, really good videos on explaining on how to build your own laser. And I pretty much just took the knowledge that he offered. And I actually did pay for all three of his programs. It went but like 15 bucks. And, and it took me way, way farther than what I ever thought with this laser. And it took me pretty much to where I'm at now. I'm not going to build the same layout as him, but I am going to take a lot of knowledge that he offered and I'm going to put it all in my videos. I'm not going to give anything for free that he paid, that I paid for because that's just not right. So you can go to Farther Fabrications and I'm going to have a link somewhere in my video for you to get to his website and you can purchase your own plans, your own 3D prints and your own deals. And... Uh, uh, I would say these little Dewalt totes made life a lot more easier. Uh, these trays are removable. Dewalt, all my tools are Dewalt, so it's one of my favorite tools. So anyways, I got a whole bunch of them. I got more than just that. I got a whole bunch of them. And they're separating everything. As you can see, it's really organized. And whenever I'm actually working on my deal, I can just pull this thing out and bring it to my work section. And when I'm done with it, slide it right back in there and get done with it. Um... Other than that, um, 
I mean, pretty much you're left with programs and actually building the stuff. Man, I got a lot more metal than this, and I'm about to start building it. So if you want to stick around, I'm going to keep on updating these videos. I'm not a professional, but I think I have a lot of good knowledge on it, and I think I can share it with y'all, you know. And uh, so just stick around if you like it. Just let me know. Thanks. All right, guys, this is my laser tube. I ordered it from Cloud Ray. Um, I got it on sale. It was about 80 bucks, and I paid for faster shipping, so I paid a little bit more than 80, but um, I only got a 40 watt because I just, it's my first time building a laser, and I didn't want to destroy a thousand watt, I mean a thousand dollar laser tube from one of my faulties, one of my errors. So uh, I did get the pre, pre, wired up one i would say and it comes with uh, all the fanciness on it i got the metal tips and and like i said it comes wired up so it's kind of pretty much easier uh on the website it keeps saying make sure your water outlet is facing up see this is the side up so you want to make sure you do place your laser tube in your system the way it's specified or because you don't want to destroy something like that